The Hollywood 10 case has a chilling effect on the rest of Hollywood because it becomes clear, first of all, that you can't cite the First Amendment, um, and second, that you face real dangers if you refuse to cooperate. Now, another option available to people who actually were communists in the 1930s is to take the Fifth Amendment before the committee so that when the committee says, are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party, you can say, I refuse to testify on the grounds that uh, my answer might incriminate me. This the court allows. It is constitutional. They can refuse to testify based on the Fifth Amendment. But if they take the Fifth Amendment, then they are blacklisted. They're not sent to prison because it's legal to take uh, the Fifth Amendment, uh, but they do, oops, but they do uh, end up on a blacklist. What this means is if you're on the blacklist, you can't get work. Um, and for the blacklist expands to be about 300 people, and it lasts for more than a decade. Now, one of the reasons that these people refuse to cooperate, even if they no longer support the Communist Party, is if they cooperate, they are pressed to name everyone that they can think of that they saw at a party meeting. So if you answer truthfully and say, yes, I was a communist in 1935, but only briefly and I'm not anymore, they would keep asking you until you named everybody that you saw at the last party meeting. 